Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Right, welcome along, guys. Back in the touring cars. Uh, IMSA Michelin Pilot Series. First race back for a while. Pure driving school set up. And yet again, car feels class. Qualified P3, car number 12. 2.4k strength of field on this one. And we are currently 29 in the green, I believe. Hopefully we can hold on to this. Pacing qualifying, I was pretty safe with those behind and those ahead three or four tenths ahead of me um, but I'll take that all day long first time racing in a few months in this um, just fancied it love road America love driving this car so thought I'd give it a go a couple of changes you'll see if you're familiar with my channel um, I'm readjusting the studio in preparation for my upgrades uh, to the rig so I'll have a P1X hopefully coming within the next couple of months uh, and I've changed the audio, I've banged this huge um, wind protector over this microphone to stop the noise from these fans and it hasn't got rid of it completely but it has took it down a little bit so hopefully that's a little bit better if you're into this sort of thing uh, if you would consider hitting the subscribe button over the there track temp is 43 celsius p3 <laughs> I would really appreciate it. Looks like we've got a full formation lap here, which isn't ideal. But we're just going to do what we can here. Safety rating's okay. Stay behind Jimenez in the right column. At the moment, we're close to the 3 3.0 mark. We've lost a little bit in the last few um, Indy Pro races. Wow, nearly. So the the touring cars tend to leave a little bit of a gap. Well, let's go, they're faster than us anyway. So if you're familiar with the channel then, let us know if the audio is any better. It seems a little clearer. Hopefully it does. Get closer to Jimenez. You need to catch up to Jimenez. <laughs> they have an half booted it here. Christian, please leave some space with the DT port. Don't need as big a gap here as the most tracks. They're so much quicker on the straight flat at the bottom corner. So they're just discussing obviously the gap that, that we're going to leave. But you will still want more than like a second. So the, yeah, he's got a point. Yeah, you but know. they're going to crash in the turn three, and we're, we're going to have some trouble. Talking about we don't have to leave as much Good of call. a gap. But yeah, it's always wise to leave uh, the GT4s a little bit more. I've driven both the uh, M4 and the and the Cayman, and both to me are a little bit twitchy. Out of the two, I prefer the M4, but I would always favour this touring car when we're driving in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Series. If only for the pace, because I am a little bit quicker in this. Well, I'm a little bit more competitive in the Audi than I would be in the GTs. Maybe because I've got a little bit more time in the car, but you like what you like, I suppose. No pit stops, no strategy involved, just a flat out sprint race. You can take a bit of a beat in these things as well. 
it may be a little bit more noticeable on the long straights if you get aero damage on this one but not sure if there's been any updates either it's like I say it's been a few months since I've raced this series So we'll see what the race pace is like of these guys. I got caught out a little bit there on the start. But we're in draft, so we're alright. Okay, Duncan, decent start. We can build something from here. So previously it was all about looking after the tyres when I've raced uh, the IMSA before. We'll see if that's the same. The actor, please, behind is now 0.8. Grip there on the front end, got lucky. We didn't pin it. Incident in Canada corner. Yellow flag, watch out. The gap in front is now 0.6. On your right. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Come on, Duncan. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Do all the work. Focus on your exits. Bit 
there that time. There's an incident in Canada Corner, yellow flag. Was fighting hard by the looks of things. So we're out a draft of Jimenez up front. B2. I don't think Christian's going to be daft enough to make any risky manoeuvres because he backed out of it pretty quickly when I got alongside him. It was that one where he lost control. He just lost it going in, just turned a little early on the brakes. Just like to slide through there if you get it wrong. So the gap to uh, Belize behind is quite safe by the looks of things, so... On your left. Clear left. Come on, mate, defend your position. It's a bit of a dive bomb, that one. He was, uh, was quite far away when he launched it. He got it done, I'll give him plenty of space. Go, Sam. I'm alright with it. We'll stick with him. Let's see what we can do as the race unfolds. I'm not gonna take any unnecessary risks, I'm in the green. He gained a few in terms of the GT4s as well. I've picked up a couple of spots there. I don't know whether that counts actually in terms of our rating. Looks like P5's gone off in turn 14. Blaze has absolutely flew around there. So he may have just been sitting tight waiting for his tyres to come in. For sure, in his pace. Please, he's getting closer. The gap's now zero point four six. P three. Duncan, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. This is what I love about this racing. There's an incident in turn five. Right side. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Play right. Brilliant. Nice one. How he made fucking hell. Use all the track, force him to find the gap. On your left. Hold your line. 
Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Come on, man, defend harder. Pinch me a little bit there, Sam, but we're all good. Good driving there, lads. Nice one. Racing us for position. Don't expect a blue flag. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Keep pushing. We might get him back. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.0. E5. Just gonna try and stay with them. There's a faster class car behind. Incident in Canada Corner. We think it might be key.
just done a 223.44. OK, Duncan, 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Not sure if I've got damage here yet. Don't seem to have as much top end speed as these guys. Yellow flag, caution. There's an incident in Canada Corner. Jesus. Keep it within the track limits. Okay, Duncan, you've used half your fuel. The gap to Dominguez behind is increasing. It's now 6.3 seconds. Thank you, Romain, for fair play.
10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. So we'll see how the tyres are towards the end. Incident in the kink. The best exit there. So he was trailing his brakes into that. Is it Canada Corner? Quite a lot more than me there. So I had to sort of back off. With nowhere to go. I was on the throttle much earlier than him. He couldn't do anything with it. Your lap time was at 224.43. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0.6 off the pace. Sector three is 0.36 off the pace. People are struggling on the tyres a little bit now, some may be able to push for a move on Christian. So many different lines going on there. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 42 Celsius. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Duncan, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Thank you. 
five minutes remaining, five minutes left. You want to watch your water temperature. It's looking a little high. P5. Close. an incident in Canada Corner. Okay, Duncan, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Marker coming up unless it's a very slow GT4. Side by side ahead. That lap was a G24.00. Lap times are pretty consistent. Two minutes left, two minutes. So one more lap, I think, after this one. Left side. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Last lap. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Incident in turn one. It looks like it's police. On your right, hold your line, still there, still there. So I think that was inevitable that that was going to happen. Hold your line. Hold I was your glad line. it wasn't me. 
Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. All right, Duncan. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. that up. Don't be distracted. Defend your position. That's five minutes of fuel left. Just enough. There's an incident in. Turn one. We think it might be Berg. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about. Car left. Clear left. Well done, Duncan. Great drive. That's a podium. Happy with that. Right. Let's have a look what happened to... Uh, to sum there. So it wasn't this lap. So it was this one. So obviously I had a run on um, Danny. Obviously Sam's going defensive here. There's a little bit of net cord there, I think, but. I'm not sure what, I think Sam's moving slightly left. He won't know that he is, but he's moving slightly left, I think, there. Well, fortunate, because everyone had raced really well up to that point. I think this car's probably dead there as well. Right, we'll jump out, we'll see what it's done to our safety rating. And I rating, hopefully both take a, a nudge up. I know the I rating will. Uh, safety rating, I'm not sure about because uh, I think we're at 7 or 8x there. Right, so we gained 29. I think I was at 29 when I started. So... Obviously, I, was, I think I qualified third and finished third. Um, so, I said in the race that I wasn't sure whether going past the GT Falls counts. It clearly doesn't. Uh, and we gained one on the old safety rating. So, positive. Yeah, positive result all in all. Difficult. You've got to really fight for it. But I think comfortable in the top ten... There wasn't many in there, but I think pace-wise, very comfortable in the top 10. Um, but to fight bumper to bumper for, for 29 I rating in, yeah, the top split. The only split. Why is this? So let me know about this. So from what I see, from what I race, you don't get racing anywhere near as close as that in anything else on I racing. Yet, there's one, there's one split. There isn't many people involved in this at all. 2.0 strength of field. I'm sure it said 2.4k on my overlay at one point. Anyway. So Sam actually lost 80. So Sam is a 3.2k I rating. Christian in front of me, 2.4k. Um, the guy who won Jimenez, was it Jimenez? Did he win? 
4.3k um, so we're punching above our weight here really with the result uh, but the pace is there the pace is clearly there um, so we may do a couple more of these hopefully there'll be more people entering because you know that's crazy one split with with such a good series um, I hope that there's more interest in the future fastest lap there for me was a 2.23.3 and the guy who won 2.23.1 so yeah so the pace is there sorry 2.23.4 2.23.4 for me 2.23.3 Christian and Jimenez 2.23.1 so the pace is clearly there championship points let's have a look 84 I've not been looking at this I'm not in the this the, the runnings for anything in the championship but I do like to see what you get for that so I rating wise then we are up to 2472 has that been applied let's have a look 2472 plus 29. No, I don't think that's gone on yet. Although, I don't know. I don't know whether 2472 in the standings, it's already been applied. It's already applied the, the figure in the brackets. I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, if you know about that. Right, stuff's going to be popping up, guys. Let me know what you think about the new audio. Hopefully, I know it looks ridiculous. Hopefully, um, it sounds a little bit better, a little bit clearer. Um, for you guys listening, you can't hear these two fans going crazy as much. I'll turn them off. So you can hear what it's like without. Um, it should be a, a big difference. But hopefully this is blocking a lot of that noise. Um, fingers crossed i'll see you when i watch the video back anyway so yeah stuff's going to be popping up guys if you're into this sort of thing please consider subscribing to the channel i'd really appreciate it help grow the channel a bit more uh, and there's my giveaway over there and i believe somewhere up there will be um i don't know if it's my latest video or just something that's been recommended to you by youtube but yeah cheers for watching guys and see you on the next one